Did you know Dryo is the number one rated diagramming app in the Atlassian marketplace? With the ability to create any type of diagram, including BPMN, ERD, and flowcharts, as well as collaborative whiteboards, it's the one diagramming tool for every team. Visit dryo-app.com to find out more. Good morning, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to my presentation on powering collaboration with Confluence at Miro. My name is Farbot, and I'm a product lead at Miro. I'm very excited to be here today to show you how you can use these two powerful tools together to supercharge your team's workflow. Let's set the context for today's presentation through an interesting fact. Did you know an average enterprise leverages around 211 tools? That's right, 211 tools. That means companies are relying on a wide variety of apps and platforms to manage their projects and workflows. But here is the thing. This vast amount of tools can create information silos and add complexity to the work, which can be costly. Now let's take a closer look at the potential cost of working in silos. Working in silos can be costly in a number of ways. First, it leads to context switching, meaning that the team members waste time and energy moving between tabs, documents, and tools to get their work done. This is not only frustrating, but can be costly if you think of the impact at a scale. Working in silos can also lead to outdated information. It's hard to stay up to date and ensure your content is accurate when your team is relying on screenshotting or copy-pasting data from one tool to another. This can result in mistakes, missed opportunities, and reduce the overall productivity of the team. And finally, working in silos can lead to longer time to insight, meaning that it's difficult to aggregate and define actionable insights when your teams are using tools that don't talk to each other. This can slow down the entire decision-making process and making it harder for your team to achieve their goals. That said, this doesn't mean we should be abandoning the tools that we are using because each tool has its own purpose and strength. As you know, Confluence is a go-to platform for a structured documentation, while Miro is a leading visual collaboration platform for an unstructured whiteboarding session. We worked really hard to bring these tools closer together than ever before. With our integration, you and your team can use both tools and stay productive without the need to switch from one to another. Now let's take a closer look at how you can use these tools together using our integrations. So first I'm going to show you how you can embed Miro boards inside Confluence to a demo. So get ready. Meet Ashwini. She's a marketing manager at an insurance company. She showcases how she creates a new roadmap using Miro and how easy it is to share and embed the board directly onto a Confluence page. Ashwini kicks off the project by facilitating a workshop with her team and together they brainstorm and create a detailed roadmap on a mirror board. She needs to ensure that the final version is accessible to her team and the stakeholders, and there is no better way for doing that than embedding a mirror board directly onto a Confluence page. She can do this in a few different ways. Let's take a look. One way is simply by pasting a mirror board link on the Confluence page. Thanks to Atlassian Smart Links, she can choose the way she prefers the link to be presented on the page, and one of the options is to load it directly as a mirror board. There is also a more powerful and customizable way of embedding mirror boards onto Confluence, and that is using the Miro's integration for Confluence. She starts the process by choosing Miro integration through the insert menu, or she can do that by typing a slash followed by Miro. This opens up the board picker model where she can select the board she wants to embed. And here is where it gets really exciting. We just released a highly requested feature that enables users to embed a mirror board with a very minimal UI, hiding all the editing functionality in the embedded board to create a distraction-free experience for viewers. She chooses to opt in for the view-only mode, and here she can also specify the right access control for the board for the viewers of this Confluence page. And voila, the board is embedded on a Confluence page in the view-only mode. You might also wonder what if you need to make changes to the board. 
don't worry, editing is just a click away. She can click here to open the, open the mirror board and it starts editing. And what if you want to have the flexibility to resize the board on a page? This is also possible by clicking on the embedded board and choosing the desired size. Now that the mirror board is embedded onto the Confluence page, the team can now interact with the mirror board without having to leave Confluence. They can scroll through the roadmap, zoom in and out to see the different section of the board. It's also worth mentioning that as they collaborate and make changes to the roadmap on the mirror board, the team and the stakeholders can easily see those changes reflected in real time on the Confluence page, ensuring that everyone is always viewing the most up-to-date version. And finally, we are excited to announce that this integration is available on all Miro plans, so no matter your team size or budget, we can start collaborating seamlessly with Miro and Confluence today. Let's recap the key values that you can take from this integration today. First up, we showed you the power of smart links and how easy it is to embed a Miro board inside a Confluence page by just pasting a link. Next, we introduced the only mode that offers a distraction version, uh, distraction free version of Miro for the viewers. We also showed you how easy it is to specify the required access while embedding a Miro board on a Confluence page. And finally, we touched upon the fact that embedding Miro boards inside Confluence is available to all Miro users on all plans. Now that you have seen how you can embed Miro boards inside Confluence pages, let's take it a step further and show how Confluence pages can be embedded inside Miro. Get ready for another demo. Victor, a human resource manager, is working with his team on updating the processes in their company. The documentation around these processes is scattered across various pages in their internal Confluence wiki. He copies the link to the relevant document and drops it onto a mirror board. And here's the exciting part. With a one-step authorization, Victor and his team are now able to transform a meaningless link into a useful visual frame of reference. The team then jumps into brainstorming mode in Miro, discussing how the processes can be improved. As a follow-up, they work on documenting the process. And guess what? Without having to leave Miro, Victor can simply open the Confluence doc inside Miro and start editing it. Having the context of the brainstorming right next to them helps the team articulate and document their points better. Therefore, there is a seamless transition from brainstorming to a structured documentation. This integration supports importing both private and public Confluence docs into a Miro board, and the best part is that it's available to all Miro users regardless of the plan they are on. So what are the main takeaways? With Miro's Confluence integration, you can preview titles of Confluence pages on the Miro board. You can also view, edit, and save Confluence pages right from Miro without the need to switch between tools. The integration itself works with both private and public Confluence pages. And the best part is available on our Miro plans. I hope you enjoy seeing this integration in action. With the power of these two tools combined, you have a single source of truth that is always up to date. Plus, the highly interactive features enables seamless collaboration for your team members regardless of their location. I would like to invite you all to try out this integration for yourself by going to miro.com confluence. I want to also thank you all for joining me today and I hope to see you soon again. If you have any questions, please do reach out on my socials, either Twitter or LinkedIn, and I'll get back to you. Thank you.